good morning students are you able to hear me okay okay let us start with the first module of class 3 हेलो कैन यू हियर मी नाउ मैम यू वॉइस इज इकोइंग is it clear now are you all able to hear me now is it clear please reply in the chat box yes ma'am okay great okay coming to the, coming down to the third class of module 1 hr analytics okay as i said my dear students uh, in the earlier class hr is all about feelings and emotions you may ask me what is uh, the numbers to do with the, the feelings and emotions can the numbers measure feelings and emotions the answer is yes see when we when you speak about analytics it tells about how we can quantify the feelings and emotions and build a model and then predict the behavior okay so for example uh, if i take here if i ask you so if i ask a question to a hr guy how high is your employee annual turnover so if i ask a question to a hr person how high is your employee turnover in your company so okay how much of your employees turnover is a regretted loss okay how much of your employee turnover is a regretted loss and the third question do you know which employee are most likely to leave the company within next 12 months if i ask these three questions which is usually asked by the ceos or vps to the hr department most hr professionals can easily answer the first question first question how high is your employee turnover there is a formula they can put the formula and they have the data in their hand they can calculate it and immediately they can give it but when it comes to answering the second question it becomes very difficult the second question is how much of your employee turnover is a regretted loss okay so to answer this particular question they need to have uh, or they need to combine two different data sources that is hris human resource information system identify the absenteeism rate and then the performance management system and when they identify these two different data sets they combine the data sets create a model and understand the pattern then only they can answer the question how much of your employee turnover is actually a regretted loss to the organization then comes the third question here do you know which employee are most likely to leave the company within next 12 months now it's a very difficult question to be answered okay so to answer the third question 
you need to even go in depth into the data and go in for extensive analysis of data identify the patterns identify the algorithm and, uh, and then afterwards put it into software calculate the things and then you can give the answer of how many employees can leave your organization within next 12 months okay so for all these my dear students hr analytics has gained lot of importance so now with large amount of data in hr department uh, they are now analyzing that particular data through analytics for decision making so analytics is not so much about numbers as it is to do with the logic and reasoning okay so when we speak about hr analytics it speaks about logic and reasoning so it also involves studying historical datum to understand potential trends analyze the effects of certain decisions or events and evaluate the performance of the given resources okay so this is all about hr analytics so when it comes for decision making in hr department okay traditional hr was followed so it was based on uh, experience of the experts so any decision uh, being taken in hr department in traditional hr most of the hr used to take the decision based on their perception based on their experience okay experience by the experts but now a lot of calculations data gathering algorithm will be taking the decision and the data helps to validate that particular decisions so hr analytics it is not the term which has subsided now it is uh, introduced to the hr department uh, long back more than 40 years now okay so technology trends have accelerated the adoption of hr analytics okay into the field of hr and formed an analytical wave now what that is called as third wave of hr which will be seeing in the next slides okay so in short hr analytics goal the goal of hr analytics is to turn data into information and turn information into the insights okay so that is what we could uh, i could give in the introduction of this particular class 3 i hope it's clearly understood what hr analytics is now when we speak about tools of hr analytics there are n number of tools which are used in hr analytics okay some of the major tools i have just uh, noted here one is r studio r studio is nothing but a free and open source integrated development environment for r a programming language so r studio is nothing but the r programming language why it is used for statistical computing and graphical representations okay so they identify the data and they put the data into this particular r programming they identify the patterns and then finally through this particular uh, programming language uh, they uh, compute using the statistical uh, formulas and then give the graphical representation of the what, whatever uh, findings are there in that okay then comes down python okay python is an interpreted high level programming language for general purpose programming okay so it's usually for used for general purpose python has a design philosophy that emphasizes code readability okay it reads the code notably using significant white spaces okay it provides constructs that enable clear programming on both small and large scale okay then comes excel we all know what is excel it is a spreadsheet developed by microsoft uh, for windows okay so mac os android and the os okay all these are microsoft excel spreadsheets it it features calculations graphical tools pivot tables okay macro pro, it is a macro programming language called uh, sorry it also uses the macro programming language called visual basic for applications so it has been very widely applied a spreadsheet for these platforms especially since version 5 in 1993 so excel forms a part of microsoft office then you have spss which is widely used tool for researchers uh, it's a statistical uh, tool 
So SPSS uh, statistics is a software package used for interactive or batched statistical analysis. So it is used basically for calculations, statistical analysis. So long produced by SPSS in cooperation. It was acquired by IBM in 2009. Current version uh, are named in IBM SPSS statistics. Okay. Then you have Power BI that is a business analytics service provider by Microsoft. So it provides interactive visualization with self-service business intelligence capabilities where end users can create reports and dashboards by themselves. Okay. Without having to depend on information technology, staff or database administration. So every work of uh, creating the reports as well as putting it uh, in front of the user uh, in, in the terms of dashboard. Everything is being done by Power BI, okay, without depending on information technology staff as well as database administrators. Then you have Zoho People uh, is an HR software of the Zoho company, a full suite of business application and tools for small and medium enterprises. Basically, it is made for small and medium enterprises. It is a straightforward and scalable HR solution for managing all workforce and employee related activities and concerns. So Zoho people is ideal for companies that want something that can be implemented easily and customized exactly to their needs and expectations. Then you have people insights. Uh, people insights is a cloud based uh, workforce analytics solution designed to help companies and industries by providing useful information on their human resource operations through their data and then allowing them to apply that information to a meaningful decision making. So it gives entirely the insights of the people in the organization. Then you have Cruncher. So here is a cloud solution for people analytics and workforce planning designed to make companies better. Then you have, uh, okay, the spelling is wrong there. I'm sorry, I just corrected. Bamboo HR is an American technology company that provides HR software as a service. Uh, Bamboo, service Bamboo HR services include applicant tracking system and employee benefit tracker. Okay, then you have IBM Connexa. Uh, it's, it is an IBM company providing employment and retention services for hiring and retaining workers. This includes recruitment process, outsourcing, onboard solutions, employee assessment, ability assessment for employment. So all these are different tools which are presently used in the field of HR. Okay, then coming down to analytics. Okay, it is divided into three levels. Now, what are those uh, three levels of analytics? One is descriptive, okay? Then you have predictive, and then you have prescriptive. Now, what is this descriptive, okay? Descriptive is nothing but descriptive HR analytics reveals and describes relationship and current and historical data patterns. So this is founded a foundation of your analytical effort. So it describes the behavior of the employees and identifies the pattern of behavior of the employees in the organization. That is descriptive level. Then you have predictive level. So here predictive analysis covers variety of techniques. It uses statistical tools, statistics, modeling, data mining, etc. And you use current and historical facts to make predictions about the future. That is predictive. Prescriptive is nothing but uh, this goes beyond predictions and outlines decision options and workforce optimization or human capital analytics is primarily to communicate. A, uh, it is used as a communication device. So you have three levels here, descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive. Coming down to how to use HR analytics. First, the HR analytics can be used into long-term planning and strategic decision making. So most top performing businesses use data not to make windfall gains, but to forecast and plan for future. So using data to analyze the return on investment of various programs and initiatives 
helps make better decisions for company's future so basically here when we go for long term planning of human resource in the organization uh, when it comes to succession planning career planning of the employees okay then st making strategic decisions that time you can use hr analytics it is very beneficial then afterwards you have using automated tools so here using automation tools and automated processes not only reduces the data errors due to human factors but also give time for more important strategic tasks so evolving to these tools is one of the easy way to utilize real power of hr analytics so here when we use automated tools the main goal is to reduce the human error then comes down the next that is building an analytics savvy hr team so it is good to have data but without a team which feels comfortable with the data one is still stuck with the age old methods of traditional hr so therefore building a hr tech savvy team of human resource professionals either by training or reskilling or new hiring is giving to be mandatory in future okay so top performing organizations are already working towards enabling digital transformation into human resource department okay so this is what we could say how to use hr analytics or way to use hr analytics now coming down to how to become an hr analyst okay which is uh, the uh, job in demand in market right now okay so the standard requirement for hr analyst position is domain experience in hr work experience in hr uh, is always a pro and so is the hris system experience so you need to be well versed with the hr activities as well as hris system human resource information system additionally the relevant experience with the tools and system, systems used by the organization also counts heavily in your favor okay so what are those tools tools like uh, tableau power bi click sap success factor et cetera proficiency in at least one programming language for statistical analysis preferably r programming or python okay but spss sas stata mathematics matlab etc will also be considered as required so a must have skill is a proficiency in ms excel very very important so this is still uh, used in most organizations and an understanding of how to combine worksheets and analyze a large amount of data using pivot tables are usually considered elementary so these are the minimum basic requirements to qualify for the job of hr analyst okay now coming down to next my dear students uh, the third way for hr value creation so hr analytics is a methodology for creating insights on how investments in human capital assets contribute to the success of four principal outcomes that is generating revenue minimizing expenses mitigating risk and executing strategic plan so this is done by applying statistical methods to integrate hr talent management finance and operational data okay so here hr analytics is a methodology for creating insights on how investments in human capital assets contribute to the success of four principal outcomes my dear students i have read it once more please understand four principal outcomes of hr analytics what are those four principal outcomes of hr analytics one is generating revenue second is minimizing the expenses third is mitigating the risk fourth is executing strategic plans okay i hope it's clear okay now when we speak about third wave of hr value creation okay so here this is done uh, sorry uh, coming on to next in 1990s uh, industry economy okay in 1990s industry economy was the first wave okay so a lot of uh, emphasis was there on finance and logistics okay so that time logistics and supply chain uh, gained its importance right i hope you all know what is logistics and supply chain okay then financial and uh, budget considerations were there as well as uh, integrated supply chain right then 
you have integrated erp and financial analysis so these are uh, the uh, top priorities in 1990s when it when it comes to industry economy okay so basically the same remain till 1950s uh, sorry 1950s to 1960s okay the lot of, it is it was called as financial economy then comes the marketing the consideration shifted to marketing and customers right then a uh, lot of importance was given for customer analytics that is crm customer um, uh, customer analytics then you have the next one that is customer segmentation then web uh, behavior analytics came into picture okay then predictive customer behavior came into picture that is what uh, right now we see with netflix and etc okay then uh, coming on to next uh, my dear students uh, at present more importance or more emphasis is there on talent and leadership okay so more importance is given for recruitment learning and performance management then integrated talent management workforce management right business driven talent analytics and predictive hr analytics please understand my dear students predictive customer behavior predictive hr analytics okay so that's what we say here it is called as talent economy okay present it is called as talent economy in 70s and 80s it was customer economy in 50s and 60s it was financial economy in 90s it was industrial economy now this is called the third wave of hr value creation okay now coming down to what will be in the third wave of hr that is not in the traditional hr so analysis is entirely based on data will which plays a great role as a decision support mechanism in all process from hiring to firing so hr analytics will become one of the most important units of hr this is the major shift uh, in the third wave of hr from traditional hr to the data driven hr okay then coming on to next what exactly analytics is i said as a small example here analytics is nothing but generating the insights from data and metrics so first you have an opinion here to better understand what is analytics opinion i feel like a lot of people are ill this month that is opinion which is being given based on observations based on perception based on expertise okay then coming on to next data okay so here we collect start collecting data data regarding what absence level are at 12% this month so based on the data we identify that absence level are at 12% this month then you start creating a matrix okay so this month absence is 40% higher than the average okay matrix is when you compare the data and start creating the matrix in that matrix you identify this month the absence is 40% higher than the average then you come down to analytics that is why this particular absence has increased because of flu illness is significantly higher this month okay then you come down to an insight maybe we should vaccinate employees against the flu now this decision what you have taken is entirely based on valid data and valid calculations what you have done okay so that's what we say analytics is nothing but from opinion to the insights and data driven decision making not opinion driven decision making okay now journey of hr analytics uh, phase 1 you have justification phase 2 you have measurement phase 3 you have effectiveness phase 4 you have value creation phase 5 you have impact now what is uh, this particular justification okay slides are not visible okay just a minute
Okay, I hope it's visible now. All right. So here uh, we had come down uh, to the journey of HR analytics, right? So phase one, uh, we said justification. It is nothing but uh, building in the foundation of human capital investment, collection of the data, reporting the data, rudimentary tools, distribution efforts. All these come into first phase of the uh, uh, hr analytics so initial uh, phase of hr analytics is more into hr metrics are uh, track and have limited reporting no action is being taken at this stage and data is still quite dispersed that is first stage that is called as justification then you have the second stage that is measurement in this phase metrics are better defined reporting is now in the form of dashboard okay they create a dashboard and they start reporting or a scorecard and leadership may have some accountability to the metrics that is measurement that means total lot of calculations takes place here lot of statistical tools are being used here accordingly they come down to a particular reporting uh, which is being showed in form of dashboard or a scorecard then you have phase 3 so here in measurement phase 2 you have uh, metrics is being defined hr scorecards are prepared hr dashboards are prepared leadership accountability is taken into consideration standardization of processes are being done and improvements uh, celebrated okay then you have the next that is effectiveness so at this stage hr has more sophisticated technology and leadership is widely held accountable for the results so actions are beginning to take place because of the data and the kpis key performance indexes are tied to the results analytics are now being discussed so here you try to identify what actions are going to be taken and you try to predict what would be the result of those actions <laughs> okay so in effectiveness you have key performance indicators cohesive efforts process improvement expanded organizational accountability and more sophisticated tools then you have the fourth phase that is value creation <laughs> at this stage decisions are being made uh, based on analytics and genuine insights are created okay so predictive modeling begins here with an eye on future value creation for hr investment so in this value creation you have genuine insights decision based on data and learnings connection between people investment and business outcomes are defined very clearly here predictive models are being created and cultural shift takes place in value creation finally you have the impact that is the last stage of hr uh, analytics journey so here uh, the hr professionals really want to inspire the company to be at the impact phase uh, change is being created as a result of predictive mindset strategic goals are being achieved and the culture has shifted from being performance based to analytical driven okay so in impact phase you have creating a change achieving strategic goals congratulations you have arrived at the true purpose of analytics this is what we say the last stage of journey of hr analytics okay so here by implementing hr analytics across the organization a once higher performer may not be as productive because he feels he or she is underpaid so analysis of productivity alongside a comparison of market value salaries can help identify the cause and solution to be provided okay so here analyzing as well as implementing the right decision at the right time is very very important if you want your hr analytics journey to be very much successful okay so therefore hr analytics can thus be considered as third way for hr value creation as it constitutes an excellent framework to help analyze the questions what are those questions what value does hr add to the organization how hr contributes to the business outcomes these are the questions which are being answered now let us move on next to the hr value chain okay now when i speak about hr value chain it speaks about the efficiency effectiveness and impact now what is that efficiency it is nothing but the activities and 
processes of hrm then effectiveness is nothing but the outcomes of hrm then you have the impact that is organizational objectives okay so here my dear students when it comes to hrm efficiency matrix okay so hrm activities and processes it includes cost of hire time to fill uh, the new entrants right then afterwards time to fill the hire learning and development budget training time in days time since last promotion all these matrices are measured okay so a measured hr processes and give information about how efficient the hr function is okay it doesn't say anything about hr effectiveness it speaks about the efficiency of the hr for example if i consider organization who claim to be efficient in hrm processes by solely focusing on reducing hr cost while keeping the time to hire matrix stable okay so these type of organizations belong to level whose approach to hr is as to cost center rather than value center okay so optimizing these efficiency metrics the level 1 organizations fail to capture the value so in other words hr efficiency is nothing about how hr contributes to the business at level 1 hr organizations will allocate more learning and development budget to employees believing that better trained employees will benefit better to the organization then comes next the effectiveness that is outcome effectiveness matrix of hr that is hrm outcome so it is a second category so it is nothing but the hr key performance indicators okay so the matrix includes employee engagement retention of the employee less turnover of the employee less or zero absenteeism rate of the employee individual performance team performance quality of hire all these matrices are being calculated when it comes to understanding the effectiveness metrics of human resource department okay so when engagement is high hr is more effective and productive than when engagement is low okay the same hold, holds true for all other categories right then organizational objectives that is the impact metrics okay are the strategic goals that organization is trying to reach if hr department is able to reach the organizational objectives okay then you can say that it has created a positive impact if it is not able to include uh, sorry if it is not able to create or reach the objectives of the organization then it has not created a impact to measure impact the metrics which are being taken here is market share profit margins market capitalization customer satisfaction customer loyalty all these do come in the measurement of impact factor of or impact metrics of hr department okay i hope it's clear any doubt still here yes students any doubt still here are you able to understand any doubt still here please reply in the chat box okay great fine coming on to next hr measurement journey in tune with hr maturity journey understanding the organization system that is lean organization system okay so we will be dealing with this particular uh, topic in the next class okay so till here i hope it is it is clearly understood any doubts you have you can ping me up to my whatsapp number any time okay and i will reply to your doubts okay so my sincere request to you all students is please see to it that the doubts are cleared immediately do not keep it pending till the last class fine so please clear your doubts any problems are there you can call me up or you can message me on my whatsapp number so my dear students uh, i hope you all know the internship uh, reports are to be submitted the last date is already over still if you have not submitted your reports please see to it that you please uh, uh, mail the report to your internal guides okay yeah thank you for patient hearing right thank you very much thank you ma'am bye ma'am bye